Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the WordPress Media Library, which is where all of your media, be that images, videos, or other files such as documents, are stored on your WordPress site. And thankfully, using it is really easy. Now, most of the time, you're going to want to access the media library through the post or page editor. So I'm just going to start off by showing you how to access that. So I'm just going to get into a post I've already created and we're going to see I've got the standard WordPress post editor here. I'm just going to hit return to create a space here. To access the media library in a post or from a page, then you're going to want to click add media. Now this is going to take you to the media library. You see you have two tabs here. You can either upload files or access files you've already uploaded onto your site. And you'll see here the scrolling down will load up every single file that I've already got saved on my website. If I click on the left-hand tab here, I can also upload a file either by selecting a file or dragging anywhere and dropping the file onto there. Here I'm just going to add a file from my media library, but if you want to insert a file from your computer, you just need to click um, upload file and then drag and drop. So I'm just going to add this landscape here and clicking on that, you'll see this creates um, some additional attachment details. Here you can add things such as a title, a caption, alt text and a description. Um, I'm just going to leave these blank whilst I show you through this demo, but adding a caption is going to display text that can be seen. Um, alt text is going to have alt text that will hover over. It's also useful for accessibility and description is, as it sounds, a description of the picture. Your attachment display settings, you can choose um, the alignment, be that left, center, right or none, and choose where you link to. So you can have a link to the attachment page, that will take you to a page on your site which just displays that photograph or the media file itself, um, a custom URL, you can add in your own URL or you can have that set to none so there won't be a link at all. You can also choose the size. Now you can either have this full size or three additional sizes that WordPress creates for you. So here I have full size, large, medium and thumbnail. I'm going to set this to large and then I just need to click insert into post. And as you can see, that inserts the image into my post. And that's really the basics of using the media library. If you click on the image, you're going to see you've got some additional options that pop up again, and you can change any of those items that we just saw. So you can change the alignment to left, center, or right, or have no alignment, as well as if you click edit, you can be able to access the caption and the alt text there, as well as change the alignment here and size. In advanced options, you've got some additional options here, such as the um, image title and CSS class. You probably don't need to touch these advanced options. Once you're done making any changes, you just need to click update and then that change is going to be made immediately. And then you just need to click update on your post as well in order to get those changes saved onto your site. And so if we view our post, um, we're gonna see we've now added that image into our post using the WordPress media library. And you can see we've got that image there. I'm just gonna show you a couple of extra options here. Um, lower down on the page, if I click add media again, then I can um, drop into the media library again. And here we'll take um, this image here. If I now click edit image, I'm going to be taken to the WordPress um, image editor. It's an image editor built into WordPress that allows you to make simple changes without leaving your WordPress dashboard. You can see here we can rotate the image as well as flip in either direction. I've also got some undo buttons here. You can scale the image over on the right hand side um, and WordPress will automatically keep the aspect ratio. So you could just enter in a dimension and click scale. You can also crop and you can choose the aspect ratio again. So if I had that one to one, then I can choose a one to one aspect ratio here and you can see that would make that square. And indeed to crop, I just need to press the crop button here. So um, that's now going to crop that. And once I'm done, all I need to do is click save. And I've now created a square image without leaving the WordPress media library. I can now insert that into my post and we're going to see we've now got this square image displaying here. I've just got one more thing I'm going to show you here. If you click create gallery on the left hand side, then you can just tick multiple images here in order to create a gallery and add them to your post. So here I've got eight images selected. I'm going to click create new gallery. I can add a caption as well as drag and drop in order to rearrange those. 
and I can choose um, size. So here I'm just gonna go for thumbnail and I just need to click insert gallery. And WordPress is going to automatically add that gallery to me. So I'll just click update again. And if we refresh our post, we're gonna see what that looks like on here. So you're gonna see we've got this large square image as well as this gallery displaying down below. And if you've got items such as the Jet Black plugin installed by Automatic, um, then you're gonna have some great options for really adding some great styling to your galleries too. Now, the media library is also accessible on the left-hand side on the WordPress menu. If you click on media here, this is gonna take you to the media library itself, where you can access all of the images and all of the media and video that you've got added to your library. You can sort by item, such as images, audio, video, or unattached, as well as by date. Now here you can click on any image in order to access any of the items that we just saw. So we can edit the image here just by clicking edit here. And so if I wanted to crop this one, for example, then I could do so straight from here. Just select that area, click crop and then save. And I've cropped that from my media library. I can also add the title, caption, alt text and description and so on. So this is a great way of accessing in bulk the media that you've uploaded to your site. So for example, if you wanted to delete in bulk, you can just click bulk select and then click a couple of images. And then if you click delete, then that would allow you to quickly remove images from your media library should you so wish. And that would also remove them from anywhere they appeared on your site. You've also got the option to upload from here and you just need to click add new and then drag and drop or select files. So that's all there is to it. The WordPress Media Library is a great way of adding images, video, and other documents to your site. Really easy to use. You just need to click the Media Library button, drag and drop, and then click the, through the settings, add the information you want, and you're done. Any queries, then please head over to community.mythemeshop.com. And thank you very much for watching.